But let me explain something to you. I wrote about a couple hundred songs, you know? You know, I've got them all written down and all that, man. All right, I'll give you an example, man. I'll try to stick to a, a song that, uh, that'll make you some money. Uh, <laughs> let's see. The mythology of Charlie Manson has come to mean, above all else, vicious murder. But those terrible acts were never what he was aiming for. The real story of Charlie Manson is music. I don't think Charlie could have been Charlie without the music. He was a poet, and he really believed in his music. Music was the vehicle. He really wanted to spread his philosophy. To me, that seemed to be the most important and overriding agenda. It might not be as obvious to some people how involved and ingrained in the music business Charles Manson seemed to be. I mean, Terry Melcher is producing the birds, the Beach Boys, Brian Wilson. These are two huge selling record producers, and they're looking at you, Charles Manson. It could never have happened before or after. It really was a perfect storm, that period of time. When somebody like Charlie could walk into the scene, there was no cap, there was no limit, there were no rules. The story of Charles Manson was a story of rejection and collapse. It was a disintegration of Manson's dreams, and it allowed the madness to rise.